let me go on now to tell you exactly what you must do if this is the situation you discover that you've been attacking her you've been lying to her you've been uh trying to act like a victim and just tell her all the good things that you've done that she's not appreciative of or you've been trying to bribe her with with things and it's not working and now she's left what can you do to turn things around the first thing i will say to you is do not beg her to come back let her go so important always remember that why do you do that because you do not want her to assume that all the changes you're going to start to make is because you want her to come back because if you do that you prolong your time away you prolong it right now what you need to do is accept that we well i've been a fool i've made mistakes and i can understand why you will want to leave if i were in your shoes maybe i would leave me too but i'm going to try my best now that i've seen my mistakes i'm going to try my best to be a different man and i would like to offer you the opportunity to be part of my journey and to be a blessing to me as a friend that's how you're going to say that that's that in essence what you need to communicate that i'm going to try to change but i understand why you have to leave but the door is open if you really want to come back i'm willing to to have you back because i know that i messed up now once you put that on the table you've created a room for her to come back so that's why you must stop the first thing is do not beg her now maybe you've already done that maybe you've been doing stuff to control her to you beg her you and that's what most people do they beg they, they once begging is not working they get angry they shout it's not working they start bombarding her with all sorts of scriptures to make her feel guilty so you want to kill her back now all of these don't work because they are designed to make her not choose to stay but uh stay because you have tried to force her to do so and that's not going to work for you you don't want to be rejected but you don't also want to force someone to like you or to stay with you you the your wife that you have you won't enjoy love with her if she doesn't choose you real love must be freely given it cannot you cannot manipulate someone to love you and enjoy the love you may enjoy it temporarily because you don't it's better than zero but this is not the kind of love that lasts long it may be what got you here in the first place in one of the cases where she has not left your home she's just unhappy she just says you know what this can't work and she's articulated it to you and you can see it in her body language that she doesn't want to try anymore the same you can say you know what i can see what you're saying i'm so sorry for not trying hard enough before now that if you know that you're the one doing all of that and i'm going to make changes and i i do hope that the changes would be enough and on time for you to be a partaker of it because you have shown some of these seeds in my life and i hope that you will be a partaker of the result and and then you begin to do the work that needs to be done so the first thing is to let her know that you're sorry let her know that you made a mistake let her know that you intend to change and you're going to start working on it now that's the first step you cannot change your behavior when you don't change the way you think the way you think is what inspires your behavior and your attitude so you need to change the way you think about marriage the way you think about love so that you automatically change the way you act so this is what you're going to start to do to to change once you've told her what you want and you're not begging her the next thing you're going to do is then start to work on yourself now while you're working on yourself i will also suggest that you do not try to discuss anything about your marriage or your relationship don't say how can we get together um I, I want us to have a time together to just be alone i want to take you out on this date no do not do that unless she initiates it and if she starts to initiate that then you will know that the marriage there's hope more hope is bring is coming into the marriage this is why you must not do that because you would not know if anything is happening if you start doing that 
if you start trying to get her to come home to to eat with you if you try trying to get her to go for a dinner date with you if you try if you try to pick up play games with you do not initiate any of that you leave that alone and you let her initiate that but meanwhile you are working hard on changing the way you think about marriage the way you think about love and the way you react to her and the way you fill your own heart with God's love and joy so that you don't demand it from her and try to yank it from her like you were doing before. Now, the final and the third step is to inject love into your relationship. All right. So first step, let her know that you messed up, accept that. And then of course, figure out where you do what you did wrong. The second step is make those changes in the way you think by understanding what real love looks like and how to connect yourself properly with God, draw from God's love, repent of the things that you have done against God, plug in properly with God. And the last step is then inject real love between you and your wife. And how do you do that? You focus on learning her dreams, her visions, her uh, uh, aspirations. When, when a person is invested in helping you become who god designed you to be you are attracted to that person you will love that person and you already own you already have a lot going for you she's this woman that has already decided to marry you she has children with you she, if she's still at home she lives in the same house with you you know many things about her then if you inject what i call what we know as god's love into that marriage you have a whole load of things that will be working for you now when i say inject god's love into your marriage i'm talking of really becoming deeply interested in serving her the way god designed you to serve her and the way god calls us as men to serve our wives is to enable them to be obedient to him to know him and to obey him that's the call now, if you are not in that zone, then you're not going to be able to do this as fast as you need to do it. So you learn how to do that. Learn how to hear God. Learn how to obey God. Learn how to inspire her to do the same. And all of that you do as a third step. Once you start to, once you start to change the way you think about love, the way you operate in your home will be different. You're not going to be demanding her to do anything. You're not going to be trying to make her do stuff. And she's going to notice that. And if she notices that, then she, you, you created an open door for you to then pour love, real love. You, you're depending now on the Holy Spirit to really work through you to change her life. This is how you draw your wife back. It's how you win her back. This is how you stir her up again. Now, the reason why she fell in love with you in the first place is because she saw you living your life with joy, not demanding it from her. You were living a joyful life. You were living a confident life. Um, if you were a believer, of course, when you met, you were also serving God. She saw you had purpose and you were pursuing that purpose with passion. That's what attracted her. You need to get back to that. What what really what really derails many people when they get into marriage is that they have this passion. They are, they're doing all these things before they met this beautiful daughter of God. Now, when they got when they get married to her, somehow because of the misunderstanding of what love is, you just think in your head that she has to do whatever your brain tells you. Something weird somewhere that unless she doesn't she does that, you're not going to move forward. Then you start to attack her. Stop all of that and make up your mind that you know what i'm going to keep growing and being who god called me to be and one of those things that god calls me to be is to enable this woman to be who god called her to be and if both of us are who god calls us to be we'll be way more impactful the moment you're able to do that of course it has all the details and that's what i do when i train people i show them how to apply this stuff but if you can just learn this and do it you will be amazed at the transformation that you have you find in your wife you'll be so amazed why because you're not not only working by yourself you're working with god's power god is the owner of this girl god is the one that designed her gave her to you to make both of you into one and so you can trust that he's going to work tremendously in her as you learn to yield to him and inject real love into the marriage now remember if you want to define love it's defined in god's word as 
while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. That's what God's love looks like. When you were the worst, God gave you his best. And so when your wife is her worst, what do you give her? Your best. And what's your best? is God's love. And if you are finding me for the very first time, then you are in a good place. This channel is all about helping men hit their goals in marriage and restore their marriages. And of course, the principles are from scripture so women can be blessed too. And uh, if this has blessed you, don't forget to put it in the comments. If you need support, you need help, reach out. Adesopanja.com slash, slash chat. C-H-A-T. Adesopanja.com slash, slash chat. I'll be happy to chat with you for 15 minutes, uh, help you fine tune your, your, your strategy. And of course, if you need support, you need help, I will share with you my programs. I have a few programs that can help you. Three months program to really turn your ma marriage around, what I call the marriage boot camp. I'll be happy to share that with you. I also have uh, uh, gold, my gold membership where I help people on a monthly basis, um, really fine tune their marriage and get their, their marriage on track. And uh, yes, and those are the main ones. I have other programs, other courses that you can you can buy. But my goal for you is to be so in tune with God, so in tune with God and and have all the love and joy in your marriage so that you can create an atmosphere where God is praised, where your children grow in the love of God and where you and your spouse can do great things in God, make mega impact. That's why you see me. Uh, and the name of my company is Mega Impact Academy. And uh, yes, I want you to, to do much more for God and be more. All right. So I look forward to connecting with you tomorrow. And until then, continue to love like Jesus and make mega impact. Bye for now.